guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at my very first Reed diffuser set. Okay guys, so this is the Cranberry and Dilly diffuser set. I actually got this as a wedding present. Now up until this, I mean I've seen these before in my friends' houses, family members' houses, but I never used one myself. I am a very big fan of candles as you can see, and as well as like those Glade plugins that kind of are like this. They have the oil that soak up and then disperse, but this doesn't take any energy, whereas the Glade plugins take energy because they're plugged in. Not much, I'm guessing, but they're still plugged in. And candles can be dangerous if left lit, so I think that this is a safe and energy efficient option, and I'm excited to try it because, like I said, this one's, this one's pretty plain as you can see in the package, but some of them are really cute and smell really great, so I wanted to pop this out on camera and just show you guys this because it's the first time I've ever used one before. So let's let's see what this is. This is Chesapeake Bay Mind and Body Joy Plus Laughter. So the scent is Cranberry and Dahlia. So we just take it out and there's just three simple steps. So here is the smelly oil which we are going to be putting into, what is that? The fragrance into the glass diffuser. Here are the reeds. Are these, oh yeah, there's multiple. They're like black. And then here is the glass diffuser. Ooh, it's really pretty. It's like a frosted purple glass. It looks really nice. Let me get all this stuff off the bottom. And this is the description of the scent on the side. It says, a blissful, a blissful fruity top of cassis, cranberry, and plum nectar smiles at the crest. Rose and Dahlia meet in the middle with pink peppercorn as a note of a full-bodied red wine sings sweetly of past memories and family gatherings. Cedar wood and mahogany ground this fragrance as a touch of spice adds complexity to an overall light and gleeful air. Wow, that's a lot of sense. I just thought it was cranberry and Dahlia at first. This is not wanting to come off very nicely. And I'm too OCD to have any piece of tape left on here. Let me, oh, pray for me. Ugh. Okay. Okay, got it all. So then you just take the oil, the fragrance oil, and pour it in here. Oh, and of course there's one of those. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it actually kind of smells like... If you ever drink <laughs> vodka crayon, kind of smells like that. So I don't really know how much to put in, but I'm just gonna put in a little bit. Ooh, like that much. Can you see that? And save this. Mmm, it smells so good. And then this goes on. Now this doesn't uh, thread on or anything, so you definitely wanna put this in a spot that it's not gonna get knocked over, which is kind of, that's like a downside to me. I'd rather have it thread in or something, so if it's knocked over, it's not gonna just like, fly everywhere. And here are the reeds. Mm, they don't really smell that pretty. For some reason I thought I read like mahogany, so I thought maybe these were like smelled good. And then it just goes in there. And then they're supposed to like suck up the scent and diffuse the scent into the air. Not like the cutest thing. I kind of, this is okay. But like I said, it's a safer alternative to leaving candles burning and it doesn't take any energy because it doesn't have to be uh, plugged in. Even if, oh, that say that one little plug-in only spends a penny and that's not a concern of yours, it's still like a, a plug-in that's being used. So like if you needed the plug-in to like charge your phone or your laptop or something, it frees up a plug-in, it doesn't cost any money and there's no flame. So I'm excited to try it out and I'll probably get back to you guys in like a totally different video that would have nothing to do with this on how I like it. <laughs> but this is my first diffuser. If you use one of these in your house, let me know down in the comments below like your favorite scent or anything. Like I said, um, this is my first one. Let me know if you prefer these over candles or plugins or if you're just like a candle freak. Like I actually have a bajillion candles. I love candles, but I get so nervous because I don't want them to like burn my house down. Like my grandma's house burnt down when I was four years old. So like anything like that, we, I was raised just like strictly like no candles candles like I lived with my grandma and I wasn't allowed to have candles in my bedroom ever 
nope. <laughs> and she doesn't have, she has candles, but they're rarely, rarely ever lit around the house. So yeah, my first diffuser, I'm excited. I hope, I wonder how long it takes to start smelling and, and how much of the room it's going to like cover with the scent. I'm excited, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you use Reed diffusers and what your favorite fragrance is or if you have a favorite brand. This is Chesapeake Bay, so maybe there's uh, different brands that have stronger fragrances because I would like I would like a strong fragrance. That's why I have like a million candles because I like just different smells and really strong smells around the house because I do have a lot of animals and animals can get stinky, especially cats and having a litter box. But I'm working on training Taz to use the toilet. So <laughs> we shall see. But thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, I'll leave a link below to this if you're interested in getting this one for yourself or any of the other Chesapeake Bay uh, diffusers. I'll leave a link below. So if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos check the description box below for all my social media links like facebook instagram twitter and snapchat that's all i have for you today so as always i am tia and thank you so much for watching